All right, Joey, let's set the laser up and let's uh, learn about lasers a little bit. Go ahead and just sit over here on the box. Normally I have a tripod, but this, this is too simple. Go ahead and turn that thing on and uh, you need to check it and make sure it's zero, okay? Remember how we did that the other day? So what he's doing is, is a slope laser. We wanna make sure it's, we're gonna level fast. So look, zero, zero. So we're dead level. So why don't you grab that and run on up to the top of the bridge. Let's just use that for a shot. And you get a shot on that thing and we're gonna figure out the difference from there to here, okay? I'd say it's way below that. You went uphill, there you go. So slide her down. Good, all right, lock that in. That's good, beautiful, beautiful, good job. Okay, now bring it on down this way. Bring it on down this way. What are you reading as you're walking? Oh, my. Yeah, what's the height? Uh, one foot five. One foot five, easy number. Okay, come down here and let's just shoot right here at the end of this asphalt right there, that's good. So just take it down, slide it up, and we're gonna see what the difference is from there to where. So one foot five, and just slide it on up till it beeps solid. Keep going, keep going. And you're a little bit crazy looking there. I'm trying to hold it. Yep. A little higher. Oh my gosh. Look, yeah. I just did it with one hand. Just hold it like this and slide it down, okay? All right, pull her up just a little bit. Okay. One foot five, and what do you got there? 210? 210, so what's the difference? I thought do it with 12. Huh? Don't, it's simple. One foot five, 210. Just count them. Just do it with your finger. Go now, go to one foot five. So you can always do this one, three, four, five, six. Sounds silly, but sometimes doing it the physical way, it's just similar. Huh? 17. 17 inches. Okay. So let's put it in the middle of 17, close to it. And let's shoot that and find out where that spot is on the ground over here. So you can just count down eight and a half. Okay. There you go. So go find grade now. Give me your best guess. Definitely got to go higher. Keep walking backwards. You can hear it. When it beeps slow, you got to go up. Faster, faster. Just move on back. There you go. Oh, pretty good. Okay, so there it is right there. So go ahead, turn the laser around backwards so it doesn't make any more noise. And if we were we were doing, we could figure out slope, we can figure out everything we want on this thing, but kind of get the idea of that, right? So I'll go inside, I'll figure, I'll show you how to do slope and everything here later on in the video. Kind of give you some ideas. Right? Okay, we got a laser set up on the trash can and Joey's gonna show you a trick I showed him. And what's the first thing about a trash can? You never set a laser on a trash can. This is just an example, people. Okay, Joey. I want you to shoot the floor of the garage. So he's gonna go in here and he's getting at the height, sliding it down and lock her in. Okay, so we got a height of a floor here of a garage and I wanna know at the basketball goal at the asphalt what the difference is. So run on over there, bub, and show everybody the trick I showed you. So he keeps it where it is. He raises it up. He puts his finger on a solid foot mark. And he slides it down to how many inches? Eight inches. Eight inches, kind of cool, huh? Yeah. So now it's real easy. Now put it at half the distance like we did in the other video. So eight inches, so you want to slide it up four inches. So up makes the pole go down. So he's going to slide it up four inches. Boom, and he can walk in. He could do whatever he wants. But it makes very simple math that way, guys. Uh, counting things, using your fingers, all that stuff. Um, it definitely, definitely makes less mistakes and quick for showing and feeling stuff. What do you think, bud? All right, so we're inside. We're gonna learn a little bit about slope and some of the some of the different things with lasers. You ready, Joe? Yeah. He's probably not gonna get it all, but at least it'll help everybody to understand slopes, grades, and everything else. So give me a second here, and I'm gonna make some drawings, and we will get 
busy. Okay, turn on the laser. And we're just gonna just go through this a little bit. All lasers are basically the same. Uh, might look a little different menu, but here you got the slope for Y and this is a slope for X. And we just go right in here to the slope and we can change uh, Y if we want. So we go over there and 2% is a great number for cutting in grass uh, sod. So we hit enter. So now it's stopped and the laser is now tilting upward or like this picture is positive this way. If we wanted to so we're at the bottom of our hill, let's say, and we're gonna cut it to a new grade or bottom of our swale where, where the water ends. But you can go the opposite, you can go negative, uh, but we're just using plus and we're using Y that's just straight this way. These are the sights. You sight with this so that you sight in line. You've gotta have your laser sighted. If you're 10 foot off a pipe and you're gonna to dig to another pipe, then you've gotta sight 10 foot over so you're parallel with the sightings to get perfect. These things are so amazingly accurate, it's hard to believe. But you can kind of see, well, isn't that funny? Look at what it does in the camera. There it goes. So that's, that's throwing that beam, that's what you measure down from. And I'll start showing you how to calculate slope. Uh, like I said, 2% is great for grass, sod, and yards minimum. That's your swell should be no less than that from your house. Anything in grass minimum, if you don't want to have your lawnmower leaving ruts and making it worse. Um, half percent, they do a lot of parking lots and stuff. That's a little light, uh, really should be 1% or almost, or an inch and 10. Uh, that way you don't have any puddling or any water absorbing down to freeze in the winter or, or whatever for, uh, damage. So those, those are two good points when you're laying anything out. 2% is the minimum you should do, which is a little over two inches and 10 feet. Okay, let's use a calculator on my phone to figure slope. And let me show you a couple ways. It's really simple. <clears throat> you gotta go tenths instead of inches. So if it's two tenths, you want to, uh, let's say you, you take your laser and you shoot, uh, you walk 100 feet and you shoot two tenths of difference. What is the slope? So two tenths divided by 100 feet uh, equals times 100. So rise over one says 2% slope. So let's just put in a weird number. So let's say you went, uh, um, you had uh, six inches of fall, so 0.5, oops, sorry, five, because you're dealing with inches or tenths. And then you, you take the five, you divide it by, let's say it was 222 feet. And you hit equals, and you just times that by 100. And that's what you'll type in the laser, 2.25% of slope. So that's 2.25% of slope. Positive if you're going uphill, negative if you're going downhill. So it's real easy. One more time, just for the heck of it. If you are, um, you've got uh, a foot, so that'd be 10 tenths, or one foot, divided by 450 feet equals times 100. That's the percent. 2.24% of slope. So if you shot that, you'd know that you have over two inches and 10 if it was grass and you're safe, or that might be what you want your swale to be, or you shot two pipes, uh, or you're gonna lay a new pipe and you want at least 2% or more slope down to the next pipe you're gonna lay, let's say along the road. That would be the invert of the next pipe. Hope that helps. Okay, so I'm gonna give an example of a good way to find quick results. Joey, so take a shot there. I've set this, to 0.5 slope downward, so it'll fall. This is a farm field, so it's different. He's setting it now, so I know from this building, 0.5, how much fall we got, and there's a creek over in these woods. So I get down a lot deeper, but let's just see what we gotta deal with. So Joey, now take that and run on that way, and going down, so at half inch and 10 feet of fall, which is minimum of all minimum, that's good right there. Take a shot right there. So just show me how high or low it is to the ground. How far out is it? Put your finger on it, show me how far out it is. Six and a half. Six and a half inches, so we need six and a half inches of soil there. Going down towards the creek. Okay, so this is why you don't have to measure. So right there is, a, how far are you, about an inch out? Okay, right now, if we grade this 
back to what it should be. I mean, if we grade this flat, because there's dips everywhere and all kinds of stuff. At a half inch and 10, it gets to the, there. In the creek, it's down a lot lower so we can get some more. So we'll end up taking an inch and 10. But this way, if I start at a half inch and 10 from the building, I can go any direction away from it and see if it's got minimum of all minimum falls, farm fall, not not nice yard fall. And I can, I can change. So I would put this at probably 1%. So we'd be down about another, I don't know, eight inches there or so, whatever it is. And then we'd go back into the trees and the woods. And that's what I'm gonna end up doing. But this is just a simple way to show you without measuring the distance from this barn to there and doing rise of a run, it gives me an idea already how much we got to deal with. So I could change this to 1% fall and then have him shoot again up here and go down there and shoot and go into the woods until he finds that spot. And we know that's what the cut would be to make a drain. Hope that helps.